Crohn's and colitis, also known as inflammatory bowel diseases, are chronic immune-mediated diseases that affect very young patients as well as older patients. The peak age of getting these illnesses is around in 20s and 30s, but we also see another peak at a later age. In these diseases, you get inflammation inside your intestine, and that inflammation can affect any part of your gastrointestinal tract from mouth to the lower part of your large intestine. In Crohn's disease, you get inflammation any part from your mouth to the very last part of your large intestine. In ulcerative colitis, you get inflammation only in the large intestine known as your colon. These inflammation cause swelling, ulcers that leads to symptoms of Crohn's and colitis such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, and blood in stool. Many kids fail to grow, they develop fevers, and some other symptoms. Crohn's and colitis can also cause what we call extra intestinal manifestations, meaning they can have joint pains, skin problems, and other organs may get involved too. It is very critical to know that Crohn's and colitis, you didn't do anything to cause that disease. There are a lot of factors that are involved. In fact, scientists and researchers are still trying to find out what exactly causes to have Crohn's disease in you. Your Crohn's disease or your ulcerative colitis is totally different from another person. And remember, we have to take medicines to keep the symptoms and inflammation under control. Without medical therapy, the symptoms and inflammation can cause complications. So you take medicines to get your symptoms and inflammation under control, and then you take medicines to keep them under control. If you do not control your inflammation, you can have lots of complications, such as surgeries, such as progression of the disease, and sometimes even cancers. So you need to discuss this with your physicians, how you can get the inflammation under control with highly effective medical therapy. It is critical to recognize the symptoms of Crohn's and colitis early on, because that's when the medications work the best. So if you're having symptoms such as diarrhea, blood in your stool, abdominal pain, young kids who are not catching up on their growth chart, fever of unknown cause, these are the symptoms where you may want to discuss with your primary care physician and your family physician that maybe you need to be evaluated and referred to Crohn's and Colitis Center so that you can get diagnosed early on so that you can be put on highly effective medications early in the disease course so that we can prevent complications.